Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and today's album is another uh, recent acquisition as a lot of uh, the ones I've been showing here have been. This is one that I picked up, uh, Judy Sills' Heart Food. This was her second album released in March of 1973 uh, and it was released on uh, David Geffen's Asylum label. There you see the Asylum logo down there. Um, now, this album was released to um, huge critical acclaim, but it did not sell at all. Judy Seal is unfortunately not a household name, and unfortunately her name would go uh, sort of into the history books alongside people like Tim Buckley and, um, to another degree, uh, Nick Drake. But, um, you know, she was a singer-songwriter of incredible... Uh, talent, uh, and she wrote, arranged, and produced this album. Now, she only did two albums for Asylum. I think, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I want to say she was the first artist signed to Geffen's Asylum label, which was a new label at the time, and they had great plans for her uh, as, a, as an artist, uh, but just never quite lived up to the expectations. For some reason, and I'm not sure why, this album has a little booklet in it, uh, with the lyrics and everything in it, I'll show you guys, um, and just never quite made that all important jump. Now this is an original Asylum copy. The album was reissued recently on, in 2017 by Intervention Records, which I've heard nothing but great things about. Um, they did a uh, double uh, 180 gram uh, 45 RPM reissue, and a lot of people are saying that it's it's one of the best sounding versions of the album. Um, this is an original. I've never seen another Judy Seal original album in the wild. Uh, so that was, that was, um, uh, you know, a great find. But, um, a lot of these songs on here, uh, go back to her debut. Um, songs like The Pearl and The Phoenix, uh, written in 69. They were recorded for the debut album, but they were kind of taken off because maybe if she ever had a hit, it was, uh, Jesus Was a Crossmaker. Um, and so she re-recorded them for Heart Food. And another song uh, from around that time uh, was The Vigilante. Um, and she was supporting quite a few artists around, the, around that time. Um, uh, another song well-known on here was The Kiss. Uh, Down Where the Valleys Are Low uh, was an early one. Um, and so some of those songs dealt with um, sort of Christian imagery. Uh, songs like The Kiss... Uh, you know, she was dealing in, in like a lot of the singer songwriters around that time and a lot of spiritual matters. Um, and, and there were some that just were good straight ahead sort of pop songs like, um, songs like Soldier of the Heart, uh, had just a more of a sort of straight ahead pop feeling. She dedicated the album to her boyfriend at the time, David Almer Bearden. And, uh, he actually wrote uh, a couple of the lyrics on here. Uh, particularly there was a song, uh, When the Bridegroom Comes. Uh, and so, like I said, there's a spirituality to, to, to Judy Seal's uh, lyrics. Um, and, uh, and so she, you know, deals a little bit in theology and, and things like that. But, because um, she had an interest in, in, the, in that stuff. Um, another song, The Donor, uh, it, there's this uh, very lush uh, choral arrangement uh, that went along with that. So Judy, in addition to being a incredibly talented songwriter and singer she also she's a very interesting accent uh, a very curious voice um but uh, she was a very immensely talented arranger so she knew what she was doing um all the way through uh the album features a, a few names that you may know chris etheridge uh jim gordon uh doug dillard buddy emmons uh spooner Oldham. uh louis shelton i mean just you know there's a who's who of of players that 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 made it made around, and some of these songs you may know, and I want to talk about a couple of the the notable cover versions. Uh, Matt Alber uh, did the Kiss. Um, also, uh, Neil Cavanaugh uh, did a version of it, and Bonnie Prince, Billy, Will Oldham fans out there, uh, No More Workhorse Blues, they all did the Kiss. Uh, Sean Colvin uh, did There's a Rugged Road on her '94 album Cover Girl. Um, it, Jane Seabury, uh, she were, she contributed vocals to a cover version of The Kiss uh, for Ghostland and their album Interview with an Angel. Um, and she also released it on one of her compilations. Uh, Jackie Levin, uh, under the name uh, Sir Vincent Lawn, uh, did When the Bridegroom Comes. 
So Judy Seals, um, Judy Seals' influence is felt, uh, whether or not commercially people know her. Now, my jacket's not in the best shape. Uh, the, the, the record itself is, is pretty good. But, uh, you know, overall, um, not the best shape. But you don't spin the jacket, as Naz Nomad likes to say. So uh, I agree, the record sounds great, so I'll take it. Uh, but Judy Seals' Heart Food is today's daily record. If you know Judy Seals' music or familiar Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Check out my regular channel. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. And in the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another Daily Record.